if labor keeps getting scarcer and scarcer, someone's going to have to farm it. Like we still have to get the produce people need to eat. Things like, like that robotic arm, it has a stereo camera, which actually allows it to scan the head of lettuce multiple times throughout its life. And it can do things like, is this growing correctly? Is there, is there any diseases I need to know about? At Ironox, we redesigned the entire farm process around robotics. We started by designing our own custom hydroponic grow modules. Not only can we grow dozens of varietals year round while using 90% less water, but the hydroponic grow modules are also designed to be robot friendly. We have a fully autonomous 1000 pound mobile robot whose job it is to navigate our farm and fetch one of these grow modules when the plant needs an operation like harvesting. Using hydroponics allows us to grow year round. It grows, allows us to grow where there's not arable land. Even here in California where we're spoiled in fresh produce, there's a lot of produce they cannot get year round, especially when it comes to things like herbs, like basil, where they'll have to import it or not even be able to get it. So yeah, we, we definitely see this as absolutely scalable to cities, not just in the United States, but all over. Yes, we'll automate a lot of the the day-to-day -day, like repetitive task, but you always need that human insight into like, that human overview, that oversight of everything. So we've actually hired a plant science team. So we have Nicole, our head of growing. She's been leading up this effort in terms of basically what do the plants need to thrive? These are the pots the plants grow in. And this was our very first rev. And now this is our newest model. And a lot of that's because of her design, her inputs around the plant science to make sure that is there room for the roots to grow and for the plant to thrive. We're going to continue to scale out our, our growing team and we're going to continue to scale out the engineering team and they're going to continue to work together. Vertical farms and stuff like that get a lot of um, excitement. One of the things we've been worried about though is what is that electricity cost for, for powering lights? And now that we actually have extremely efficient LEDs, we know that it's not sustainable. And so actually going forward after this farm, we'll be going towards natural light, like an actual greenhouse. The sun is free, it's significantly less energy. Mm -hmm.